Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel Work Knowledge. And today I'm going to tell you how to register Cisco CP7821 IP phone. And similarly, you can register 78 series of all IP phones in the same way. You just have a template file of the phone with the MAC address. Like I have this MAC address file, scp MAC address dot cnf dot xml, and you have to do some changes in the file. And this file can be available from Google. You can just type on Google Cisco 78 series template file, and you will get the file. You uh, in the file you have to change some parameters like NTP server. You can give your PBX IP address for NTP, or you can give uh, internet NTP server, and then you have to define the PBX port IP PBX IP address. So here I'm using Grandstream IP PBX using six three series of PBX. Okay, and now I have given a extension 608 the pbx ip address in the proxy field and feature level is extension number port number port number for uh, ip pbx which is 5498 and uh, extension number is 608 display name 608 and authentication name is 608 and the password is sip at 1234 and the rest of the settings has to be same after creating this file, you need to put this file into the uh, root directory of your TFTP. So I have put already this file in my TFTP root directory. So you can see here, I have put the file, this file and dialplan.xml file. Okay. Uh, two files are required to provision the IP phone and you need TFTP server TFTP D64 application. Okay, so I'm running the TFTP application here and you can check if your file is available in the root directory. So this is the file for this phone and dialplant.xml. So these two files are there in the root directory. Configure TFTP path in your IP phone. So here is the 7821 IP phone and I have factory set this IP phone. Okay. And similarly I have uh, run Wireshark on my system. So I will get the logs of IP phone as well. Okay. So now I'm going to set the TFTP path in the IP phone. Now I'm going to, I'm pressing the setting key and going to setting option, admin setting and network setup, IPv4 setup. It is on IP, DSCP IP address and now I'm going to alternate TFTP, click OK and set it to yes go back and then TFTP server 1 give the IP address of your laptop so I am giving my laptop IP address here 192.168.1.113 ok so I have set this ok now I will click on apply ok so I clicked on apply and you can see here the logs are coming on the voice arc and I will same way I can see the logs on TFTP server so you can see here the phone's logs are coming here into the TFTP means the phone is getting his template file its template file from the TFTP root directory and after provisioning successful the phone will register on the PBX 
Now I am going to back. It is showing registration in progress. Okay, so now you can see the phone has received extension 608 which I have said in the template file and you can see uh, you can now I'm dialing the extension number from the IP phone 218 and then call okay so the call is going to the extension Hello, Ayush, are you getting my voice? Yes, yes, I, uh, yes, your voice is coming. Okay, thank you, Ayush. Okay. So the phone is registered and it is simple as that. So you just have a template file and TFTP server. That's it. And you can see the extension is registered on 608 and the IP address of the IP phone is 128 and you can see here Cisco CP7821 thank you, thank you for watching